Good morning, you guys. Oh, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tosh. How's everybody doing? I sounded so Canadian. How's a boot? Anyways, so today's video is going to be on the Profusion Pro Pigment Palette. I also have a few other new goodies in my basket here. You guys, I'm going to keep it very real. I, I always keep it pretty real with you guys. I tried to film this video yesterday and it was a complete shit show. So I'm hoping that I have pulled it all together from whichever way and I'm saying a prayer to myself deep inside that this video is going to be good. So. Starting off, I'm going to start off with the Laura Mercier A Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. Now, if you saw my review on this, you guys know that this foundation is too late for me. So, Physicians Formula actually just came out with a shade adjuster, and it's really cool because you don't have to buy them separate. You get a light one, which you guys can't hardly see, and then you also get a darkener tube. So I'm actually going to use the darkening tube today. And I'm going to mix it on my little Ulta uh, mixing palette here. So I'm going to show you guys that. And then I'm going to apply my foundation off camera. Because you guys have already seen me do it a million times. And I'm really trying to cut my videos down to 25, 25, 28 minutes max. I know that you guys have busy lives. So do I. So, yeah. Basically what you do as mine's a little dirty what you do is you pump your foundation and then you're just gonna go ahead and squeeze your tube now I'm gonna keep it real this tube is very touchy yesterday oh make a liar out of me <laughs> yesterday I went to pump a drop out as the directions say to pump out a drop and then mix it in with your foundation and it's supposed to give you your perfect shade um, yesterday it pumped like three or four drops out Anyways, my point is, um, honestly, I don't think you're going to get your perfect shade. Like, obviously, this is not my perfect shade yet, so I am going to do another drop. Keep in mind when you're doing this, the shade of foundation that you are using. If it's super, super light for you, obviously, you're not going to get your perfect shade with just one drop. So, I'm actually mixing in two drops now. I did add a little bit more foundation. Um, just because I like to have a little extra and I like to keep it in a container because I'm kind of lazy. Here goes drop number three. Um, I don't like to have to sit and mix it all the time. I don't mind mixing it, but every time that I do my makeup, I don't want to mix my perfect shade. So I just mix extra and then I'll put it in a container that is airtight and then voila, I can wear it the next time. So we go. I'm just going to show you guys that this does match me now. As soon as I can find me a mirror. I also forgot in my intro, if you're not subscribed, what's up? My name is Tosh. We love to have a good time over here, chill and do and play with makeup. So we would love to have you a part of our community. Hit that subscribe and like button and the bell notification so you are notified each time I upload. As you guys can see, that has created my perfect shade. Here we go, so you guys can see the difference. These are really nice, they are affordable. So far, I have only found these on the Physicians Formula website. I'm actually gonna zoom you guys in a little bit closer today, since we're gonna play with some eye makeup. All right, you guys, I'm going to apply my foundation and I will be right, ew, that was gross, why did I do that? <laughs> we'll be right back. All right, you guys, so foundation is on. Ooh, it is so pretty. I forgot how much I really liked this. You know, you kind of fall out of using your stuff when um, so many new things are coming out. So really quickly, I'm going to backtrack a little bit and tell you guys about the Shade Adjuster product. It says what it is. Color adjusting drops that transform your foundation into the perfect shade to match your unique skin tone. Why it's good for you. Enriched with vitamin C and E antioxidant blend, the light drops a light in your foundation, a shade lighter, while the dark shades darken your foundation, a shade darker staying true to its natural depth. So the key ingredients are vitamin C and E antioxidant blend. And then it says shake well before use, apply foundation on the back of your hand, and add one drop of your chosen shade adjuster. adjuster. Again, those can be found on the website. So really quickly, I want to apologize to you guys um, because after 
Uh, watching the playbacks of my edited videos, I realized that you can hear my phone going off a lot in the background. Um, I'm really not trying to be rude. I would silent it or turn it off, but my grandfather, aka my papa, has been sick for a while, and unfortunately, we are at the point where hospice is in and my grandfather is dying, so... That is the reason that I keep my phone on. I'm not telling you guys, you know, kind of like the woe is me, feel sorry for me, none of that. I mean, of course, it's it's always hard to deal with death, um, but my grandfather is 90 years old and he has lived a very long and fulfilling life. And at this point he's suffering, so it's, I, I don't want to see him suffer anymore. But, but my point is, is if anybody is finding it rude that my phone's going off, I'm sorry, but I mean, I hope this doesn't come off rude, but my family always comes first. Um, so, again, I just wanted to put that out there and apologize because it's going off an awful lot in the background. But, you know, hopefully everybody will understand. You know, you got a sick family member, things like this happen. All right, you guys, so moving on to um, concealer. I'm going to go into um, a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape and then the Milani... I don't know what I did with my shape tape. Anyways, I'm going to go in with that in the Milani Conceal and Perfect. You guys have seen me apply those two products as well. So if it's something that you've seen me apply, I'm not going to redo it on camera just because it's making the videos longer. So I will be right back. All right, you guys, I'm back. I know I'm looking a little bit cray cray. First of all, has anybody noticed that I don't have any eyebrows on? <laughs> I'm sorry guys, no I'm goofy. I'm going to zoom you guys in just a little bit. Um, I decided to bake today with this Milani banana powder, which I just made a humongo mess with. And I, that's what I love about YouTube, is that behind the scenes, y'all, there is a whole lot of shiznit going on. Okay, so what I did was I went on ahead and set my face. I'm baking my under eye. Um, to catch the fallout because I'm kind of in a little bit of a hurry today. So again, we're going to use this Pro Pigment Palette from Profusion Cosmetics, which is a bunch of beautiful pinks, and pink is my favorite color, so I'm super excited. But because there is not a lot of transition shades in there that are matte, I'm also going to go in with the Sienna's Palette just for transition. So first off, I'm going to start off with a fluffy brush with the shade Oasis in the Sienna's palette, which is this kind of pinkish, corally, y'all, I'm not even gonna go there today. So I'm gonna start off with that, and I'm just gonna use that as a transition color. Now, this Pro Pigment palette is absolutely gorgeous, but it's missing a few pieces in my opinion. Like, first of all, it's missing a transition shade. And right off the bat, I'm just going to be 100% with you guys. I always am, but some of the shades in this palette are kind of chunky and the Pro Pigment Palette. Like, I absolutely love it, but some of the shades are not so great. Um, what I do like about it is that it has some um, eyelid toppers or shadow toppers, whatever you want to call it, um, and they're absolutely stunning. Uh, the pinks in it are to die for. Like, I can't even, you guys, it is so pigmented, but a few of the shades, like I said, not so great, but they're not really shades that I would use every day anyway, so it's not a huge bummer. Most of them all gorgeous, so I'm going to shut up now and keep blending. So I'm just really quickly building that color up. All right, you guys, really quickly, I'm going to finish this eye on camera, and I'm going to go off camera for this eye just to buy us some time. And I am now going to point to the shades in the palettes. When I switch palettes, I will let you know.
so so far this is the look that I've come up with but they have these shade transformers in here like eyelid toppers and there's three of them you got one two and three so I did use this one on my brow bone up here but I kind of want to use this one just on top of the lid here so I'm gonna do one lid and I'm just taking my finger to do this we're gonna see what happens Okay, so, so far, this one didn't really do anything. I don't see a difference. Let's see here. There we go. Kind of chunk up some of the powder a little bit. So it actually looks kind of chunky. I'm, like, hoping I don't ruin the look. Oh my gosh, why did I do that? Okay, so I don't know if you guys can pick it up, but like it's got like this chunky white, I don't know, all over it. I'm not using that shade. I'm just going to go back into the shade that I originally used. You guys, I will link these down below for you. I'm still trying to figure out how to put pictures on the screen. <laughs> so yeah, that one I just showed you, oh yeah, don't use that. All right. So you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wipe off my bake, and then I'm going to do the rest of my face, and I will be right back. All right, guys. So what I did was, I'm trying to think of where I left off, I'm doing my full face, the rest of my face. So quickly, so I can show you guys my eyes, because they are watering like crazy. Oh my God, are they watering like crazy. So I went in with the BH Cosmetics Brilliant, or Bron Brilliant Bronzer in Bronze Babe. And then I already have my blush packed up in my little to-go pouch because we're about to leave out for the day. I used Pearl Essence Pink and Wet n Wild Blush, which I love. Then I thought it was only appropriate to go in with the Maybelline um, Master Chrome Rose Molten Gold or Molten Rose Gold Highlight. So that's what's on my cheeks. And then for lips, I went in with this Trustique. Um, primer and a lip color in English Rose and then I topped it with this little sample of a Wonder Kiss lip plumping gloss in Nude. You guys, I want to get the full size of this because this plumping gloss is amazing but they're kind of pricey. So if you've ever tried any other lip glosses out, leave me a comment down below and let me know do you like them. And then, oh for lip liner, I just went in and was simple and I used this LA Girl no, LA Colors uh, Lip Liner in Mauve. And then for setting spray, I'm using the L'Oreal Shake and Glow Dew Mist. And for my eyebrows, I went in with the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. You guys, I have become obsessed with this. I don't know what took me so long to try it, but it's amazing. And with that, we are done. This is the final look that I came up with. Right here in the inner corners, I'm having just a little bit of problem um, with it kind of, my eyes are watering really, really bad, and so it gets a little patchy sometimes. So all I do is I take a little piece of plastic and I will load up a um, those little um, applicators that come in the eyeshadow palettes that we usually just toss out. Um, I will load that up with the eyeshadow and usually if that happens, I'll just pull this out and reapply it where it's starting to fade because of my watery eyes. Oh, oh, one more thing before I let you guys go. Speaking of watery eyes, I placed an order through CVS a while back. I think I already showed you guys that in a video. I don't remember. I posted it on Instagram if I didn't show you in the video. So anyways, they sent me a sample pack, and in that sample pack was a bottle of Lumify. If you guys suffer from hella dry eyes like I do where they burn, I mean they hurt, they're super red all the time like they are kind of now. Um, if you put a drop each of the Lumify in each eye and wait for 60 seconds you guys, your eyes are going to stop burning and they're going to turn pure white. Like pure white. Um, so I think I have found my new favorite eye drops. I tried to use clear eyes, another one called dry eyes, um, store brands of it. It just doesn't work for me, but Lumify is working. So I know it is a bit pricey. I think what I'm going to do, um, to try to get a coupon for a full size bottle is you can actually write companies and sometimes they will send you coupons to try their products. So 
with that being said you guys uh we're done with this video i will see you guys in my next one before i go if you are not subscribed i hope that you will click that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you are notified each time i upload and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye guys